The opioid overdose crisis was highlighted, highlighted in our last 13 Investigates series, and clearly it struck a collective nerve. We've received many emails and social media posts from you reacting to the deadly trend. And tonight, even the state agency that's trying to manage this epidemic is weighing in. The head of OASIS, the State Office of Addiction Services and Support, sat down with 13 Investigates' Tessa Bintulin today to watch our story and discuss solutions. And Tessa joins us now with her exclusive sit down and Tessa the commissioner tells you that this story shows why they have to continue focusing on people and keeping them alive right that's right Elaine and Rachel the fights only getting more intense Oasis Commissioner Dr. Chinazo Cunningham says the video we showed her was graphic but acknowledges it's also the truth in many many communities across the state our most recent 13 investigate story gave you an inside look at the raw truth of overdoses in Gloversville and the stress it puts on the community and the officers who respond to calls like this every day. The commissioner says she was not surprised to see what happened in this body camera footage, but what did strike her the most was how much Narcan was needed to save the woman's life in that body cam video. It was four doses. The commissioner says this certainly speaks to the growing threat to fentanyl, the drug that makes you more high and it makes it a more intense high, but it's the most dangerous. It's the driving force behind overdose deaths. That speaks to the significant change in the overdose epidemic over time. Fentanyl is extremely potent, and that's the reason why now we need three or four doses of naloxone. You know, 10 years ago, you just needed one. The commissioner says these days there is one life or death question every addict needs to ask themselves before they use, and it's not whether fentanyl is in the drug, but how much and could it be the last high they'll ever experience. Elaine, Rachel, back to you.